And that's the last we saw of Matt as well. He, yeah, he went away with a camel. Yes. This is considered the coldest capital city in the world, and with a population of about 1.4 million people, it's relatively small. There are several smokestacks that are burning 24 hours a day, billowing white and black smoke into the air. The city's fairly polluted. I would consider this like, you know, normal. Like really? Even less than average, I'd say. Oh. Really? Like it gets, it gets worse than this. In the winter? In the winter, yeah. A majority of the burning is coal to generate heat and electricity for the city. Today, we're gonna check out the Gandan Monastery and the black market. And it's really not too cold out today, the way it is. My face is pretty much numb from that walk across town, which took about 30 minutes. We're walking back to our hotel because we have to do a little bit of work. That's why we're here, it's a work trip. And we're in the middle of Genghis Khan Square. And I think you can see roughly what this looks like behind me here. Uh, it's bordered on one side by the Parliament Building, which is right here behind me. And there's a big statue of Genghis Khan on it, up there. They're very proud of him. We're at the Black Market. It's definitely not a place where there's a lot of tourists. As you can see, we've got horse stuff. There's areas with herbs, animal teeth, eagle feathers, feet of various birds. They literally have anything you can think of here. Home goods, supplies, cookware, barrels, saddles, rope. Okay. <laughs> Definitely worth a stop. We're actually not getting as hassled as much. We're in Paperland and beverages. There were leather jackets back there and homemade bowls and such. Now we're outside the city at the giant Genghis Khan statue. They're very proud of him. We're gonna go up to the top. Whew, I'm a little winded. That's like six so floors of stairs. Here we go. I'm wearing a wolf, a wolf jacket. This is actually pretty nice. It's comfortable. The ones you, the ones you would find in, in camps, they're more modernized. You have softer beds and stuff. So we're in the Blue Sky Lounge, right off of the Genghis Khan Square, and we got some of the local vodka. It's called Chinggis Black, and uh, it smells like rubbing alcohol, but... Not as bad as it smells. No, it's not that bad. It's pretty good. They've got caribou on their karaoke background. I kind of feel like we should leave. Yeah. Yeah, we should probably leave. We can't <laughs> communicate with anybody. All right. Let's, let's wait, let's wait. Let's wait until he comes back.